Today I set up SSH keys for root at host.buscompanyx.com. Originally when I started out I had an SSH key just for the non-root user on my liquid web server. Specifically I'm talking about the user buscompa at buscompanyx.com. However, I figured I'd probably be SSHing into the server more often as root. So I set up SSH keys for the root user. After I set up the SSH keys both on the server and after adding the two files, the public and the private keys to my .ssh directory on my Mac, I tried to SSH and it didn't work. For some reason, it wasn't picking up my private key file. It kept th thinking that I was trying to use a certificate for bus compa user. It turns out that the reason it was doing that was um, the group associated with my key. And here's the key. Uh, this is... Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is the private key for root in my .ssh directory on my Mac. Notice that the group that owns it is wheel. I actually changed it to wheel. It used to be staff. And I noticed that after I changed it to wheel, I didn't have any trouble SSHing anymore. See the one the original one for bus compa, I don't know how it ended up being as wheel, but that's what gave me the idea of switching it to wheel for for the root SSH key. Um, if by chance I have problems in the future trying to SSH like the problems I just had, the tech support had me use the minus I option, okay? Okay, so I would SSH, use the I option, and specify the exact path to the private key. That way, it'll definitely use the private key. It won't not find it like it was doing. Okay, so this command here is guaranteed to work. However, it's pretty long to type it in. And now, now that I changed the group to wheel for the private key file, I don't have to use the mine, the I option here and this whole part. Okay. When I cut and paste, okay, when I go to WHM, which is where I generated these key files for root, I'm basically just allowed to cut the text of these files. So I pasted them into files with the two name, these two names. This is, no wait, not this one. This is the name I gave to the private key. And this is the name I gave to the public key. Okay, it's id underscore rsa underscore root. Also, SSH complains if the permissions for the private key are not like this. These are 600 permissions. So I had to do shamad 600 to this file in order for OpenSSH not to complain when I try to SSH, telling me that this was insecure. Again, the information about the private keys for root, I put them in eWallet. So if, if I need to find out what the password is, because it is a password protected key, the password is over there. And just as a reminder, that keychain will remember the password so I don't have to enter it every time. And I'm talking about the password for the SSH key. I'm not talking about the password for root. Because now that I have a key and I use it, I've disabled the password. It won't prompt me for a password when I SSH into root. There's a way to disable that, that thing that makes it ask for the password. And this time I'm talking about the password for the root user, not the password for the SSH key for the root user. Okay, originally I didn't think I would have to generate another key for me to be able to log in as root. 
I thought I would be able to use the key that I already had for my non-privileged user, bus compa. But the public key for bus compa actually specifies the user bus compa in the key. And I think that's the reason why it didn't work. You know, it didn't work. It didn't allow me to use that key for the root. That key is only going to work for bus compa. Okay, just in case I need to set this up on a, another server. When one sets up the SSH key or wants to generate it, or a, managing the SSH key for root has to be done through WHM as opposed to cPanel. All the other users on the system use cPanel. So that's where I need to go to generate it. Go to ge WHM and log in as root and look for SSH key management. In WHM, filter out for SSH. That way you'll see the other option, which is to disable password checking when you SSH. Okay. The only trouble that I had with this whole process was, and I'll read this, I had to call support because I had trouble SSHing to root. The SSH kept saying permission denied because thinks that I am bus compa and that's because it wasn't finding my other private key file it was only finding the the one for bus compa and I think the reason it couldn't find the one for root is because of this thing with wheel the group wheel I think SSH open SSH on my Mac belongs to the group wheel and that's and it only looks for key files that belong to the group wheel